Supporters and opponents of Chinese rule in Tibet faced off in Michigan today, moments before the Dalai Lama spoke of peace. The Tibetan spiritual leader addressed a huge crowd of followers and fans. And while he stayed away from politics, others could not help having their say. Kasrusi reports. The lineup snaked around this Michigan sports complex. Hi. For a rare chance to see and hear the world's most famous Tibetan monk. Didn't want to miss the Dalai Lama for sure. Yeah. Can't believe he's here. It's great. Well, it's an honor to be in the presence of such an incredible person. The Dalai Lama's visit to Ann Arbor comes at a particularly sensitive time for Tibet and its people and for China as host of the upcoming Beijing Olympics. The Tibetan leader has been critical of China's crackdown on protesters in the capital Lhasa last month. A group of pro-China supporters used the Dalai Lama's visit to highlight their message. The demonstrators say politics shouldn't interfere with the Olympics. And they blame the Dalai Lama for inciting riots along the path of the Olympic torch. He's one of his followers. And uh, I think his leadership should take actions against behavior like that. They distributed tiny Chinese flags and chanted pro-Chinese slogans. At one point, pro-Tibetan supporters clashed with the Chinese group. It is our you. part of our thank, thank China. You. Tibet is our country, part of our country. Inside the near sold out stadium, the exiled spiritual leader stayed away from politics, instead preaching tolerance and compassion. The Buddha arrested individual sort of view or right. And the main motivation, main purpose of his teaching is to help. Peace and harmony are recurring themes for the Dalai Lama. And although he says that his visits to other countries shouldn't be political, continuing protests in the lead up to the Beijing Olympics make it difficult for him to remain silent. Cass Rusi, CBC News, Ann Arbor, Michigan. With 2,000 police, even commando units at the ready, Thailand hoped to avoid those protests today as it welcomed the Olympic torch relay. But could a show of force prevent a showdown between demonstrators? Reporter Norman Harmont found himself right in the middle of competing demonstrations. Here's what happened. It's a routine both sides in this Olympic relay seem to be getting used to. Facing off. This time on the streets of Bangkok. On one side, hundreds of passionate supporters of China's Olympics and its government. Across the avenue, a smaller crowd protesting China's policy in Tibet, convinced their voices count. It is in our mind, it is in our conscience that when we see something is wrong, that is going on, it is expected of another human being to help out. That's why I think it is, although probably insignificant, but I still believe it is very important for us to be heard. Thailand's government warned foreigners against disrupting the torch relay, but plenty turned out anyway. Many of the relay supporters were Chinese students. Some reportedly traveled to Bangkok specifically to boost numbers. The protests today were peaceful, but as has been the case all through this torch relay, passions were high, and there were indications about just how easily they can boil over. As the torch approached, Chinese supporters surged forward. It did eventually pass by, the relay team looking more nervous than triumphant. But for these demonstrators following behind, this was a victory. What do you think of the people on the other side of the street, the, the Tibetan protesters? I think they are just some... some, some they are the liar! We yes, are China! The liar. This apparently happy crowd quickly turned hostile when the talk turned to politics. Can you only one China in the world and the Tibet is belongs to the China. Yes, For yes. Thailand's leg of the torch relay has shown again. It only takes a moment for these Olympic smiles to disappear. Norman Hermont, CBC News, Bangkok.